Yes. Say, Lord, forgive me. I'm not going to say I've been perfect, brother. Yeah. I've had people tell me I ain't sinned since God saved me. I said, you just did. Yeah. How did I do it? I said, you just lied. Because yeah. the Bible says we all have sinned yes. and come short of the glory of God. Yes. Oh, that means all of us. Brother, don't just me. Very tacky. It means all of us. So, we're we'll do this one. And I'm not in nobody's way. I was having to tell me, boy, you big mouth preachers get started. We don't get to do nothing. I said, what stopped you? If God put something on you, the Bible tells me if somebody speaking and God reveals something to somebody else and for the old first one I can hold his peace I let the other one I go ahead and speak. Right. Sometimes it's hard to get a preacher and they say just shut up. <laughs> I'm glad for Jesus. Amen. On the way to Cleveland I have a whole bunch in my heart. I heard a woman come down. Sis got up at Cleveland. They put me on the machine. They couldn't find no hole. It wasn't there, brother. My God took care of it. I asked the doctor yesterday, I said, uh, did you see any marks in there or anything? Why? Well, he said, not one mark. I said, he said, why? I said, well, I had a hole in my heart. He said, if you did, it ain't there now. I'll tell you what, I serve a God that's got all power. Yes, Give me a taste back of fit an acid problem for 12 years. <laughs> had to bend over the bed, let it run out. Doctor told me my stomach would make it more than my body would handle. Be going to church. Had to let it run out. Don't have to anymore. Don't have to anymore. God help me in that too. Lost my taste. Couldn't tell what I was eating or drinking or nothing, brother. Ah, uh, my God took care of that too. I can tell what I eat and I can tell what I drink. I'll tell you, but I thank God for 1972, March the 6th. Yeah, I just had a birthday not too long ago. They said, well can't live a Christian life. They told me that too, but I'm still in today. Not because of great tactic, but because of the grace of God. Amen. His grace is sufficient, brother. Amen. And I love him tonight. County, like I said, kind of short of wind tonight. But I, I can still praise the Lord. But I thank God for 1972. Well, what happened to you? I died. <laughs> I died, but I, I was brought alive. I was dead when I went into the altar, but brother, when I come up, I wasn't dead no longer. I had something inside of me that I never did have, brother. What's that? Oh, it moves you. Brother, it moves you when it gets a going. But I'm glad for salvation. I'm glad that it's of the Lord. I'm glad that Jesus went all the way for me. I told a girl today, I said, think what Easter is really about. The crucifixion, the death world, and the resurrection of the Lord's Savior. Think about that. But I like the part when it says that the dead in Christ shall rise first. They tell me, they say, hey, how you know you going? I got the promise. Yes. And one thing God can't do is lie. Yes. I love you, Mr. Knight. Sorry we are holding you up. But uh, like I said, said, she forgot to tell us. Yeah, I got a bunch of sisters and brothers. You says, who is that? You want to know what God looks like? The Bible says no man has ever looked on the face of God as dead. If you want to know what he looks like, 
Just look at that, your brother. He said, how are you getting that? He said, let, him, let us make men in our own image and life. And so when we look at our brothers and, and things, brother, we're looking at God, the image of God. I love it. Can't get enough of it. But one of these days, and says, I love the song. Love the song. Love the song.